hello students welcome to school today we are going to learn new lesson lesson number 30 young scientist in this lesson we are going to do two experiment one is the fountain at your fingertip and a shower at your fingertip so let's start lesson number 30 young scientist first experiment is a fountain at your fingertips in this we will make a bottle fountain and we will see how it flows now we'll see what the things that we need to make a fountain plastic bottle balloon piece of stiff plastic tube you can use piece of straw or refills or any kind of tubes then scissor glue or adhesive tape to tighten up the tube now take a bottle and make a small hole in the side of the bottle near its bottom as shown in the figure so that we can insert a tube inside the bottle now take the lid and make a hole in the lid of the bottle so that we can insert a small plastic tube or straw through the hole now take a piece of straw or tube and insert in the hole of the bottle that we have made and tighten it or secure it with the help of glue or adhesive now take a another piece of straw or tube and insert it through the hole in the lid and then secure the tube with the help of glue or adhesive so that it should be tighten up in the lid of the bottle now place a balloon in the bottle and fit its mouth on the rim of the bottle as shown in the figure so that we can put some water inside the balloon to make a fountain now suck through the hole from the tube in the side of the bottle what do you see the balloon gets inflated inside the bottle now cover the hole in the side on the straw with the finger take some water and pour water into the balloon so that the water is collected inside the balloon now take the lid on which you have tightened up the straw and put the lid with the straw on the bottle and screw it on tight so that the water will not come out from the side of the lid now remove your finger from the side of the hole and what do you see a fountain leaping out of the straw in the lid now note down how long your fountain last so this is the way you can make a fountain at your finger tip now we will start with a next experiment a shower at your finger tip and the things that you need is a can with a white base a tight lid a nail and a hammer or you can use some other pointed thing so let's start to make a shower take a can and make a hole in the base of the can using the nail and a hammer you should take care that 
you should not hurt your fingers you should do this experiment with the help of your elders now take the lead or a tight lead and make a numbers of tiny holes in the lid of the can as shown see that your holes are evenly spaced as in a sieve sieve means the vessel where you can separate the tiny things from the rice so you have to make many tiny holes in the lid of the can now cover the hole in the base with your finger and fill the can with water put the lid with the holes on the can and invert the can still holding the finger on the hole hold the can over a plant and remove your finger from the hole what do you see the plant gets a shower now put your finger on the hole again again the shower will stop this way you can make a homemade watering can to water the tiny plants so do you know that there is air all around us though we cannot see it or feel it or smell it all the time in both these fountains it is this invisible air that pushes the water on the balloon and you will learn more about this when you study science in higher classes so these were the two experiments we have done and in this way you can be a good scientist so try this experiment under the guidance of your parents now we'll see the next lesson lesson number 31 be a writer in this lesson we are going to learn how to make a story here we can see a picture look at the picture carefully what does it show are the animals holding a meeting what could be the reason we have to imagine what must have happened before and what is likely to happen later so we will write a story on the base of this picture now why these animals are holding a meeting these animals must be holding a meeting for pollution that is created in the forest by humans now how we can say that a squirrel is addressing the meeting a basket is kept near the rats and all the animals are listening carefully to the squirrel what must have happened there must be the garbage thrown by the human beings near the forest area and it must have been polluted and as the garbage must have been put even in the water and because of which the rivers that flow through the forest is also polluted so these animals have held the meeting to make the river clean and even the forest area to clean it and make it pollution free so in this way we can write a story based on the picture now we'll see the next picture in this picture we can see five friends one friend is carrying a ladder while the other one is having a rope and one is having a color box with a brush and one is having a banner while the last one is having a basket of fruit and a dog is accompanying them so we'll try to find out what they are going to 
do what are these people where are they going what are they carrying and why we'll try to find out answers to this question so let's start to make a story based on this picture in this picture there are five friends and they have decided to keep the area clean and now they are near the forest so how to keep the area clean as there is a lot of garbage collected in the river side and also in the forest area so they have tried to keep the area clean and for that they have found a solution that they will clean up the area first and put up a banner stating that keep the area clean put the dustbin in the box and do not throw dust or garbage here in this way they will try to keep the area clean and stop the pollution that will kill the animals and other creature in this way we can make a story based on the picture